ডক্টর অংশু সেন সিনিয়র কনসালটেন্ট নিউরোলজিস্ট অফ মণিপাল হসপিটাল সল্ট লেক কলকাতা ডিমেনশিয়া ইজ ডিজেনারেটিভ ডিজিজ ইট ইজ এ প্রোগ্রেসিভ ইম্পেয়ারমেন্ট অফ ইন্টেলেকচুয়াল ফাংশন উইথ ইম্পেয়ারমেন্ট অফ মেমোরি অলসো উইথ পার্সোনালিটি চেঞ্জেস রেজাল্টিং ফ্রম অর্গ্যানিক ডিজিজেস অফ দ্য ব্রেন it interferes with the activities of daily living the impairment in the cognitive functions can pass to various stages there may be mild decline there may be moderate decline there may be moderate to severe decline there may be severe decline in the cognitive function or there may be very severe decline in the cognitive functions now what are the symptoms which is a patient present to us there is a decline in the memory function and also impairment of judgment there is a difficulty in speaking in some cases and expressing their thoughts sometimes the patient gets lost in the familial environment there is a lack of interest in the activities of daily living and they may act impulsively sometimes they do not hear about the others feelings there are many causes of dementia the commonest cause is the alzheimer's disease next comes the frontotemporal dementia other causes include vascular dementia lewy body dementia and sometimes mixed dementia huntington's disease parkinson's disease and parkinson's plus syndromes there are other reversible causes of dementia like normal pressure hydrocephalus chronic subdural hematoma hypothyroidism should also be investigated in a patient with dementia we have to do a detailed cognitive assessment also a detailed neurological examination is necessary to find the underlying cause for example the patient may have parkinson's disease he may have stroke or huntington's disease Investigations include imaging of the brain. In some cases, we need to do a CSF study. EEG is also helpful in some cases. Regarding the biochemical examination, we have to do the routine blood and the biochemical tests. The two drugs recently approved by the FDA lacanimab and donanimab they can be useful in the early stages of dementia there are side effects of the drugs also apart from the medical treatment we have to do a cognitive therapy and rehabilitation is very important because the patient may have difficulty in walking difficulty in passing urine so caregiver's approach is very essential in the treatment of dementia and we have to find out the triggering factors which can aggravate dementia for example in the covid pandemic prolonged isolation triggered the manifestations of dementia sometimes the patient may have behavioral problems like depression agitation hallucination delusions in this case we have to treat them accordingly some antipsychotic medications have to be given and this can help in the treatment of the particular behavioral problems in a nutshell dementia is a progressive degenerative disease so many causes of dementia are there we have to identify the cause and treat them accordingly for example a patient may have hiv dementia a traumatic brain encephalopathy after major head injury alzheimer's disease is a commonest cause of dementia in our country so apart from the drugs and cognitive therapy we have to be very sympathetic towards our patients and cheer up them apart from medical treatment cognitive therapy music therapy is important in the treatment of alzheimer's disease 
so you must respect the patient and give them tender care. Thank you. Thank you.